Hey guys, what's happening? Jamie here from Unbox. A ton of mid-range phones were just released in the past couple of weeks, and one of them is this guy right here, the Motorola Moto G5S Plus. At 14,999, the Moto G5S Plus is definitely one of the strongest contenders in the segment. Is it worth its asking price? Hopefully, we'll help you find out in this full review. Let's talk about build quality and design first. As far as mid-range phones are concerned, the Moto G5S Plus has everything that's expected of it. It has a full metal unibody build with great ergonomics. It kind of looks like its sibling, the Z2 Force, sans the ports for the Moto mods and feels a little wider than its current competition in the market. And just in case we need to point it out, we're really not digging the huge camera array and that bump, though it is a bit of a Moto signature at this point. One thing that's different with the G5S Plus is its home button. Yes, it does double up as a fingerprint scanner, which is fast and accurate, but all the navigation on the phone is done using gestures as well. It takes some time to get used to, but once you're accustomed to swiping right to go back and left to bring up all the recent apps, you should be golden. The Moto G5S Plus sports a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS LCD panel. While you're not getting the same picture quality as an AMOLED display, the screen of the Moto G5S Plus is no slouch and offers good pixel density at 401 pixels per inch. No 18 by 9 aspect ratio here, but we're definitely not complaining. Complementing the display is the single speaker on the bottom of the device, and while it does get pretty loud, you'll want to keep it at around 70% to avoid distortion. Under the hood of the Moto G5S Plus is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 octa-core processor that clocks in at 2GHz. This is paired with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of expandable storage. If you're into benchmarks, it nets a score of 65,325 on Antutu, which means it should be enough for those looking for a little bit more oomph, but not willing to pay more than 15,000 pesos. Using GameBench, the Moto G5S Plus got an average of 56 frames per second on NBA 2K17. 30 FPS on Asphalt 8 and 32 FPS on Marvel Future Fight. One of the best things about this device is that it runs on a stock version of Android Nougat, with a guaranteed upgrade to Oreo in the future. It's always great to have a phone that's free and clear from any bloatware, so the G5S Plus definitely gets points for that. The phone has a 3000 mAh battery, and running PC Mark's battery benchmark got us a time of 9 hours and 8 minutes. In real-world tests, it managed to get us through the working day and then some, even with mobile data on for the greater part of the day. The G5S Plus also supports quick charging, which means that when you do have to top it up, you'll be spending less time tethered to your power bank or the wall outlet. The Moto G5S Plus comes equipped with dual 13 megapixel rear cameras, one with an RGB sensor and the other being monochrome. Since we got the device, we received two updates that bump up camera performance. So let's take a look at some of the snaps we've taken with the phone. While those updates definitely did wonders in terms of picture quality, there's still a bit of shutter lag on the Moto G5S Plus, which is something we hope they'll fix with future updates, along with making the supposed Pro Mode even better. So, is the Motorola Moto G5S Plus worth your hard-earned money? Well, if you're looking for a stock Android experience that runs on a capable chipset with a guaranteed upgrade to Android O in the future, then the Moto G5S Plus should definitely be on your radar. Yes, the camera can use a little work, but as it stands now, it does a decent job and should be improved further with software updates. There's a ton of competition out there though, such as the Huawei Nova 2i, whose full review you can check out on the channel as well. There's the Vivo V7 Plus, Samsung Galaxy J7 Plus, and the upcoming F5 from Oppo. 
we'll be doing a few tests to pit these phones against each other, so do stay tuned to the channel and follow us on Facebook to get an update on when that'll be released. And that's pretty much it for our full review for the Motorola Moto G5S Plus. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on notifications. If you have any questions about the Motorola G5S Plus, leave them down in the comment section and we'll try our best to get to them as soon as we can. That's it for me, my name is Jamie, and I'll see you next time.